Welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we'll be talking about community ecology and we'll be following this outline. Definition of ecology, community, and we'll now define community ecology. We'll talk about the interaction or association between or among population in a community. We'll discuss some kind of association such as the symbiosis which comprises of parasitism, commercialism, and mutualism. We also talk about predation, competition, amicalism, and neutralism. Let's start this lesson by defining community and ecology. Community actually involves group of population of two or more different species inhabiting a particular geographical location at a particular time. As you can see from the diagram, various species, you can see the animals, the plants, inhabiting this particular geographical location. At this time, this is termed community. Now, note that these plants, this animal, they are actually interacting with their non living environment, such as the air, the soil. Now, note that these plants and animals are regarded as the biotic component of the environment, while the non living environment, such as air and soil, is regarded as the abiotic components of the environment. Interaction between these biotic components, the plant animals and the non-abiotic components in the environment is termed ecology. The study of the organization and functioning of community is termed community ecology. Now take a look at this community. You examine the interaction between various species over a long period of time, maybe monthly or even yearly. This is actually termed the temporal scale. Now you can also examine the changes or interaction among population in different locations. This is called the spatial scale. Now note that you can examine this organization of populations and how they interact including their distribution, population changes or population dynamics, the structural abundance and various factors as well as their interaction with the non-living environment. Now all these actually make up the concept of community ecology. Concepts such as various population or different population fighting over space, over food or with various resources is actually captured under community ecology. Let's talk about the various interactions that actually happen or various associations that happen in a community. Population that make up a community actually interact or associate among themselves. Now, note that if an organism benefits from this association, it is represented by a positive sign. But if it's actually harmful to the organism, it is represented by a negative sign. If the organism is unaffected, it is represented by the zero sign or the cycle sign. Take a look at this diagram. You realize that the lion can actually compete among themselves, maybe for mates or even resources. This kind of association is termed competition. In other cases, the lion may actually attack the prey, which you can see on the diagram, and that kind of association is termed predation. So we have various kind of association. Some of the type of association that we have include the symbiotic association. Symbiosis is a kind of association between two species where both can benefit. In that case, it is called mutualism, or where one benefits and the other is harmed, it is termed parasitism or where one actually benefits and the other one is actually unaffected. This is termed commercialism. Note that symbiotic association is of three types. Again, note this. Number one, parasitism. Number two, commercialism. And number three, mutualism. Let's talk about each of these kind of association. Parasitism is a kind of association between two species where one benefits and the other one is harmed. Now, note this diagram that is being displayed, you can realize that the humans are actually being harmed by the leech, which benefits by feeding on the blood of humans. Other examples of parasitism include fleas on dogs, mistletoes on trees, doodas on plants, and ticks on mammals as well as birds. Let's talk about commercialism. Commercialism is a kind of symbiotic association between two species where one actually benefits and the other is unaffected. Example of this is seen in the relationship between barnacles and whale. As you can see from the diagram, 
The pinnacle actually attached to the way, getting shelter, protection, and even free ride while the wheel is biologically unaffected. Other examples of commercialism include the relationship between cattle and egrets, where the egrets actually benefit, as well as the relationship between trees and birds that build nests on the tree. The last type of symbiotic association is neutralism. And this involves a relationship between two organisms where both actually benefit. Example of mutualism is exhibited in lichen, a relationship between algae and fungi. Algae provide the food while fungi actually provide shelter and protection. Bees and flies is another mutualistic relationship where the bee actually gets its food from the flower while the flower gets pollinated in the process. Remora and shark, which was previously regarded as commercialism, is now regarded as mutualistic relationship. Parasite in the body of the shark is actually eaten by the ramora, cleaning the body of the shark, while the ramora itself gets free meal and protection. Other example of mutualistic relationship is actually highlighted on the screen. Predation is a kind of biological interaction where one organism, regarded as the predator, actually kills and feeds on Another organism regarded as the prey. You can see from the diagram, you can see the lion regarded as the predator feeding on the zebra regarded as the prey. Another type of association we're going to talk about is competition. Now take a look at this diagram. Do you think this organism actually love to fight? That is not the case. They are always competing for limited resources. They are always vying for limited resources. We can therefore define competition as Ecological association that occur when two or more organisms actually vie for limited resources in an ecosystem. Note that these resources may be made, food, shelter, and others. If the competition occurs between organisms of the same species, it is regarded as intraspecific competition. However, if it occurs between organisms of different species, it is termed interspecific competition. Evil trees in a dense forest may compete for various resources. Let's talk about amesalism. Amesalism is a kind of ecological association between two organisms of different species in which one of the organisms is inhibited or destroyed while the other is actually unaffected biologically. There are two types of amesalism which include the antibiosis and physical interference. Antibiosis is a kind of Amesalism, in which a particular organism releases chemicals or toxins that inhibit the growth, development, or even reproduction of another organism. The chemicals released by the organism are regarded as allelochemicals, and these chemicals actually have the ability to interfere with the normal metabolic process of the body of the other organism, as well as their physiology and can even result in death. In some other cases, the behavior of the other animals is actually affected by the chemicals. The interaction between penicillium, a fungi, and bacteria is an example of antibiosis. The penicillium secretes penicillin, which is extremely toxic to bacteria. However, the fungi, penicillium, is not affected in any way. Other examples of antibiosis is being displayed on the screen. Now let's talk about the second kind of amesalism, which is physical interference. Physical interference is more or less like competition in which a larger organism physically hinders the growth and development of another organism without a direct effect such as benefit or harm to itself. Example is a larger plant overshadowing or covering or hindering the development of a smaller plant. Let's talk about the last and types of association, which is neutralism. Neutralism is a kind of interaction between two species which coexist in the same ecosystem without any direct effect on each other. This actually means that there is no direct benefit they derive from each other and also there is no harm being caused by these organisms to each other. Example of neutralism is exhibited by grasshopper and ants which usually cohabit in the same habitat but have no direct effect on each other's population. Neutralism is as a result of the fact that the two cohabiting species utilize different resources in their environment or habitat. This is the end of the lecture. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.